as today uh, we are going to be discussed about a topic called skip distance right the skip distance is the shortest distance from the transmitter measured along the earth surface from a transmitter measured along earth surface at which skip wave i mean uh, at which a skip wave or a fixed frequency i mean here in this topic we are using a skip wave which have a fixed frequency f right which have a skipped frequency f and that particular skip wave of fixed frequency should be greater than fc what do you mean by fc critical frequency right will be uh, retained to the earth a skip distance is a shortest distance from a transmitter measured along the earth surface at which the skip wave of fixed frequency greater than fc critical frequency will be retained to earth see here uh, we have a transmitter antenna and that particular transmitter antenna uh, is transmitting a skip wave right and this particular skip wave is uh, greater than fc critical frequency right see here uh, just these transmitter antenna transmit the signals and they propagated and they escaped from the ionosphere i mean ionization layer right i mean uh, either this particular layer should be f2 layer or f1 layer or any layer of the ionosphere right and these particular signals are quite escaped from the uh, ionization layer i mean ionosphere right see here uh, then uh, what uh, uh, we should do is just we have to change the angle of the signal right due to the change of the angle of the signal this particular signal is uh, quite uh, bent here itself right due to the change of the angle this particular signal is quite bent here itself and that particular signal is propagated along this and uh, because of the refractive index of the ionization layer this uh, the uh, refractive index gradually changes and the signal is returned back to ground surface same again uh, when we change it from a particular angle these particular signals are quite turn backs to earth surface here see here these many signals came back to uh, earth surface right but the shortest distance the shortest distance from the transmitter should measured along the earth surface i mean from these particular four signals which signal uh, we have a shortest distance from the transmitter right this particular signal right i mean this particular signal right and this particular distance from the transmitter to this particular signal i mean first signal distance it is the shortest distance right with respect to transmitter and uh, this distance is called as skip distance this distance is called as skip distance right and the sky wave propagation is possible for the greater than skip distance i mean this sky wave propagation is possible for the signal are for the wave which uh, greater than skip distance i mean these particular signals are quite uh, greater than skip distance uh, skip distance itself right see here this uh, this signal is greater than skip distance this signal uh, distance also greater than skip distance i mean the sky wave propagation is possible for greater than skip distance right see here and also we have another important very very important uh, relation relation between muf and skip distance what do you mean by muf maximum usable frequency right i mean equation of uh, muf and uh, fc critical frequency with respect to d skip i mean what do you mean by d skip right skip distance see here uh, we have a expression here muf i mean uh, maximum usable frequency is equals to fc what do you mean by fc critical frequency uh, maximum usable frequency is equals to fc uh, root 1 plus uh, d by 2h whole square right so here uh, what do you mean by d propagation uh, distance and also h is nothing but height of the layer right see here uh, f mm is equals to uh, fc root 1 plus d by 2h whole square just uh, uh, take the fc this side right it will become such as uh, f, uh, f i mean a maximum usable frequency by uh, by uh, i mean uh, 
critical frequency fc is equals to root 1 plus uh, d by 2h whole square right so here uh, just uh, remove this root and uh, make as a square here right so here uh, then uh, it will uh, become such as muf uh, by fc whole square is equals to 1 plus uh, d by 2h whole uh, square right so here again uh, it will i mean uh, just uh, um, take this uh, one this side right what it it will become uh, right now when uh, one is uh, taken this side uh, this uh, particular uh, thing uh, will become here and also uh, d by 2h whole square is equals to uh, muf by fc whole square minus 1 right and also uh, ci such as uh, this particular whole square is removed for this and make as a root here right d by 2h uh, root uh, muf uh, by fc whole uh, square minus 1 it will become right and also these i mean uh, take this 2h this side right here only we have d when we uh, take in 2h and when we have uh, adjacent here automatically we have only thing d right these distance uh, we can assume as skip distance and the formula of this skip distance is equals to when we uh, send uh, this 2h here d is equals to i mean uh, automatically this d will become uh, d skip right 2h uh, root uh, muf by fc whole square minus 1 it is the expression of skip distance with respect to maximum usable frequency right and also next topic uh, we have such as uh, multi hop propagations right multi hop propagations right see here uh, here we can see a earth right see here it is a west side it is a east side it is a south side and it is a north side right as we people know uh, uh, yeah see here as we people know uh, the half of the space of the earth is uh, night right i mean uh, and half of the space of the i mean half of the place or half of the space of the earth is quite uh, day right i mean uh, see here uh, half of the region of the earth is quite night and half of the region of quite uh, earth is day and also uh, when we uh, see as in such a view of uh, north and south it will be a uh, quite day or quite night right see here uh, when uh, we consider it as the uh, propagation i mean the signal is transmitting from the south to north or north to south automatically uh, it will be total day or it will be total night right see here automatically what do we mean by multi hope propagation is we have a f2 layer uh, which is ionization layer and we have transmitter and also we have a receiver right when the signal is reflected only once from this particular f2 layer and it went to receiver right the signal is nothing but we can call it as single hole because it is only uh, reflected from this f2 layer only once single time right automatically this particular signal is uh, considered as single hope but what do you mean by multi hope right see here uh, it is quite uh, reflected here from the f2 layer and also it again uh, reflected from ground and again it uh, reflected from ionosphere and it uh, goes to receiver right here this particular signal is uh, reflected two times right here and here yes two i mean uh, for two uh, we can say it as multi right this particular signal is uh, reflected twice or uh, two times right and this particular signal we can say it as multi hope propagation i mean multi hope propagation for south to north i mean when the signal is transmitted from south to north either it will be total day nor it will be total night but when the signal is transmitted from the east to, to west or west to east automatically the half of the transmission area is day and half of the transmission area is night right for this particular thing the propagation uh, i mean multi hope uh, propagation is in such a way see here it is for uh, east to west i mean uh, it is for day to night right 
for west we have something called day and for east we have something called uh, night right see here uh, we have f2 layer again here and also in the night the f2 layer will comes closer to earth surface in point point note right comparing to the day the f2 layer or f1 layer or which layer of the ionosphere in night time it comes close to earth surface see here in the day it will be i mean uh, the f2 layer is here but when compared to night it came close to earth surface right it came close to earth surface right the multi o propagation um, in east to west communications i mean day to night or night to day communication should be like this see here uh, the distance of this uh, reflected point is quite long distance right again it came to earth and again it uh, reflected to the f2 layer again i mean ionosphere right but when we compare this distance and this distance the reflected path distance i mean the incident path distance second time is quite less compared to the first time right i mean uh, these type of uh, propagation mechanisms see here uh, it is uh, quite uh, reflected from ionosphere twice right two times we can call it as this particular uh, propagation as multi ho multi ho propagation right there is a day in one half of the portion and the night in one half of the portion of the globe this quite is possible in east to west propagation right it is the i mean half of the region is day and half of the region is night for when we go for the south to north i mean uh, total it will be uh, night or total it will be day right and the the transmission path is uh, limited by skip distance and the curvature of uh, earth since the semi circumference of the earth is over 20 kilometers the multi ho propagation is occurs because uh, when we transmitted uh, consider it as a uh, east side as uh, we have a point called as uh, uh, los angeles right at the west side we have uh, uhan right there is a various kilometers i mean long distance between the los angeles and uhan right automatically these type of uh, because this signal is uh, propagating at the long distance right automatically multi ho propagations will be occurred over there right automatical this point is important uh, since there are the i mean since the semi circumference of the earth is over 20 kilometers the multi ho propagations occurs yeah it will be occurred right yeah thank you